Okay, so Raspberry Pi Foundation has just released the official version of 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS, but if you're trying to use Netflix on it, you'll find that it doesn't work, but they've already suggested a fix. So if I try and play something on my Netflix account, so if I scroll down and just click something that's safe to play, a bit of that will do, and hit play. This is the message we get, and you can see that it mentions Widevine, so Widevine isn't officially supported in the 64-bit browser, but if we go to raspberrypi.com, go to news, we can see this story here, Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, and if we scroll down, the fix is here. So sudo apt install Chromium browser. So it's basically going back to the 32-bit version of the browser. So if we right click that, copy, control alt and T to open a terminal, and let's paste that in, and enter. And yes. Okay, so that's already done. So let's close down the terminal. I would imagine we need to reboot, but it doesn't mention it. So uh, let's, I'm gonna close down Chromium and then open it up again. Let's do a search for Netflix. Okay, so it shows up as already logged in. So let's try and play a bit of Don't Look Up, How which big is a great film. Like destroy someone's house, is that? And you can see that it's playing fine. If I go full screen, it's all working full screen. And if I skip on through a bit, you can see that it's working fine. I'm probably gonna have to blur out some of the screen. But the audio is fine, the picture is fine. Now what this means is you switch to the 32-bit browser. And if you wanna switch back to the 64-bit browser, you'd have to go back to that page and run this script. But that's a bit of a pain if you wanna switch between the two. So I'd say you're probably better off to just install something like Firefox. I find that Firefox feels snappier than Chromium OS on ordinary web pages. I prefer video playback in Chromium, but uh, Firefox is a bit snappier. So let's do a search for Pi Apps because they have a version of Firefox, which is very easy to install. And it's always worth having Pi Apps and also Pi Kiss installed on a Pi. So we scroll down, copy that, Control Alt and T to open a terminal and paste it in. And just to show that I'm running a stock Pi, because uh, I've reinstalled for this video because I'd messed about so much with the other one and installed things and uninstalled things. I figured I'd better be starting fresh uh, to be able to show this Netflix fix. Uh, but if I type in NeoFetch, which I've already installed, you can see I'm running at 1.8 gigahertz, which is stock with Bullseye on the newer Pi. So some of the Pi's uh, will show as 1.5 gigahertz, this one shows at 1.8, but I'm not overclocking, I'm just using the operating system as standard. Let's close that down. PyApps is installed, so I can close this, and close the browser, and go down to the bottom here, and PyApps shows up under accessories. And if we go to internet, and browsers, there's loads of browsers on here, And uh, I'm going to go for Firefox Rapid Release and Install. And I can see here it says Main ARM 64 Firefox. Okay, so we can close that down. Go down the bottom here. And under Internet, we're going to have Firefox. I can close down this PyApps window. And let's launch Hot UK Deals. Because it's a page that's got lots of information in it. Uh, let's do a search for BBC Sport because I just feel that it, it just feels a bit snappier to me. So let's go back to Hot UK Deals and you can see that it's loaded that page up and uh, it's scrolling all right as well. If I wanted to click on a story, iPhone 11 343, that seems quite cheap or reasonably priced for what it is. Uh, click on BBC Sport, click on Home. And yeah, the browser's working pretty decent. So if you want a 64-bit browser, but you don't want to have to switch between the two, I think this is pretty much a good option. Um, just to show the video playback on Chromium, the 32-bit version, I found it all right. I tested it just now. It still seems to play back YouTube fine. And let's pop it in full screen. Yeah, that looks to be playing all right. 
Now I had a couple of comments about the uh, information that I had on the screen in the previous video uh, and it was Conkey and it was also installed by PyApps. So if you go to PyApps uh, and we go to Appearance, yeah, we've got Conkey which was what I installed in that one but let's install Conkey Rings this time because it looks a bit better especially on this background. There you go. So you can see we've got a nice status monitor there. If you want to change any of these details, you can. I've got separate videos which show how to tweak Conky a bit. Um, and there's also, if you install MX Linux as a separate operating system, it seems to have all of the variations in there. You can just switch between them at will. Uh, it's a really nice setup on MX Linux. So let's go back because the other question I had was about Teams. And I'm pretty sure I've seen Teams in here. So if I do all apps, and there is a lot in here and scroll down yeah Microsoft Teams so uh, I suppose I have got a Microsoft Teams account but I haven't got anybody I can contact because it was a, a work training thing I did so let's install that installed Microsoft Teams successfully so we can close that down so how does that show up on here then system graphics oh there you go so under internet we've got Teams for Linux now I could sign in with my work address and it wants to verify by text and I guess we can go full screen yeah yeah it's all launched and everything uh, so I don't really use this and I haven't got anybody to contact on this but if someone else tries it if you leave a comment to see if it works but that looks like a decent way to install it so and if I click on here I probably get all the apps and everything as well Outlook Word PowerPoint SharePoint Teams and so this Widevine uh, will work with other services. So it should work with Disney Plus, although I haven't got an active Disney Plus subscription at the moment. Um, but if we have a look at Widevine streaming services, Google Play, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and more. So there's various different things that this should now be compatible with. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.